there still is a large percentage of the population that doesn't really want to talk about this issue. This is something that happens in those neighborhoods over there, not where I live. No one is immune from child abuse. It can happen to anyone and to anyone's child. Child abuse is an epidemic and it reaches every aspect of everyone's life at some point. In the United States every year, about as many children die from abuse and neglect as die from cancer. Child abuse, it's a silent crime, so it happens everywhere, and it happens in a lot of families, unfortunately, but it's never talked about. People just don't want to bring it up. I don't know if you can ever put your past behind you. It's not who I am, but it's a part of who I am. I was abused by my biological father when, when I was three years old. And unfortunately, it's one of my earliest memories in life. I had no idea what was going on because I was being taken to this place and that place and they were trying to get me to verbalize what, what had happened. And I remember being really scared and not having any trust anymore. I think from the time I was four to the time I was about 10 or 11, it was all in my head at that point. I was scared to tell people that this was part of my story because I always thought they would judge me, that they would think I would have all these problems that come with it. And then I realized I'm so much stronger than that. If, if they want to look at me that way, that's fine, but get to know me and you'll realize that there is much more to this girl than something that happened to her when she was three years old. And yes, that plays a big part in my life, but it, it's not who I am. The Center for Child Protection, they welcome these kids in that have been physically, emotionally, or sexually abused, and they make them feel like it's all going to be okay and that they're going to take care of you. The goal of the center is to ease that path uh, for those children uh, during what is oftentimes the most difficult time uh, of their short lives. It's open and warm and inviting. Everything in this building is centered around children. It's very important that the children know from the get-go that their only job in this whole thing is to tell the truth. They have done absolutely nothing wrong. There is nothing that they can say that is going to be wrong. This facility is really a, a haven. When we talk to them, either at home or at school, Sometimes they feel a little on the defensive or uncomfortable. But when you bring them to a place like this that is so child friendly and so inviting, you can watch the walls come down. It's a, it's a win-win for everybody, for the child, for us who are investigating, and for the parents who are sometimes looking for answers. Prior to the team, when a child entered the criminal justice system as a victim, they oftentimes had to go to each of those different agencies and tell their story over and over and over again. Having one place where they can come and tell their story one time, awesome. The Center for Child Protection just does such a tremendous job from the beginning to the end. There are support groups for parents, there are support groups for um, the children. If a child does not have the support system around them, if they don't feel safe, if they don't feel loved, I don't know how a child will ever get over child abuse. And so having these people all in one place that make it warm and loving and kind, that makes a world of difference, 100% that psychological wound, or in some instances, the physical wounds that they have, um, they're never gonna go away. But what we want more than anything is for it not to define them. Uh, we want for it to become a sacred wound for them and give them the ability to, to, to move on and live past that.